park appraiser Lee Drexler has been uncovering treasures for years. These are Chinese 19th century altar sticks. Now these are estimated of five to six hundred and uh, I saw them in Hong Kong for $2,000. Today we followed her to the Clark Auction House in Larchmont, New York. Look at the intricate carving. Regional auction houses like this are open to the public and it's here that Lee says you have the best chance of scoring a treasure. Somebody who would buy this if they could get it for two, $250 probably would end, could end up selling the whole batch for $800 to $1,000. In her book, Fabulous Finds, Lee gives advice on how to avoid getting cheated when buying and selling fine art, antiques, and jewelry. Lee's top tips, never sell to an appraiser and know what something is worth before you sell it. People could get a very good idea of what their gold and silver is worth at home. Lee says investing in a few simple tools can give you a pretty close estimate. First, silver. All you need is a loop and a silver scale, both sold online, both inexpensive. If you have silver and you turn it over and you see either sterling or 925 or 800, or you'll see English silver, of which there's a lot in this country with a running lion, take your scale, you weigh it, you see it says four ounces, and you look in the newspaper. $30 an ounce, four times 30 is $120. The 925 marking means 92.5% of 100, so deduct 8%. The dealer is going to want between 25 and 30%. So knock off 30% from 120. You should get between 80 and $90 for, for this little picture. Now, what about gold? Little pieces of gold that look like nothing can still bring you $100, $200, a chain like this, you know, $300. First, you need to know the carats. 585 means 14 carat, 750 means 18 carat. This gold bracelet. 14 carat. So many people are cheated selling their gold. They need to know how much their gold weighs. Again, you need a special scale. Every ounce of gold is made up of 20 penny weights. So if we weigh this bracelet and we see that it's 10 penny weights, we divide that 20 into the price of gold. And this weighs 10 penny weights because it's 14 carat. You have to deduct a 40%. Subtract the cost of melting it down. Lee says no more than 30%. Value of this gold bracelet, about $300. Now, if you're not sure whether something is gold, Lee's advice, buy a tester. You put it right where the cutting is, and if it fizzes, then it's not gold. It's not fizzing at all. It's gold. And diamonds are only a girl's best friend if they are real. And as soon as it sees that it's a diamond, it goes all the way to the top. A little green flash. So whether it's art, collectibles, or jewelry, Lee's best piece of advice, know what it's worth before you try to cash in. Ashley Mastronardi, Fox 5 News.